Hello friends. In this lesson we shall learn more about performing division operation on polynomials. In the last lesson we learned if px is a polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and we divide it by another polynomial gx then we can say px is equal to gx into qx plus rx where px is the dividend polynomial gx is the divisor polynomial qx is the quotient and rx is the remainder for example we saw in the earlier video 2x square plus 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 gives us quotient of 2x plus 1 and a remainder of minus 2 so we wrote it as 2x square plus 3x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 into 2x plus 1 minus 2 now say gx that is the divisor polynomial is a linear polynomial that it is degree is 1 or the highest exponent is 1 such as x minus a so px is divided by x minus a now we can rewrite the equation as px is equal to x minus a the divisor into qx plus rx as the degree of x minus a is 1 the degree of remainder rx has to be 0 because if there is x in the remainder we have to continue division we stop division only when the degree of the remainder is lesser than the divisor means there is no x in the remainder rx so in this case rx is a constant polynomial which is actually a constant we can write it as r so when px is divided by x minus a we write px is equal to x minus a into qx plus r now a is the zero of the divisor x minus a because if we do x minus a equal to 0 x is equal to a so a is the zero of divisor x minus a and if we put a as the value of x think a as a constant a as the value of x it would be p of a is equal to a minus a x is replaced by a into q a plus r a minus a is 0 so it will be p a is equal to 0 times q a plus r which is r so p a is equal to r this is the remainder theorem what it means let p x be any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and let a be any real number if p x is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a then the remainder will be equal to p a that is the result of replacing x by a inside the polynomial will be equal to the remainder r this is remainder theorem let us take some examples find the remainder of dividing the polynomial 3x plus 2x square minus 1 by 1 plus x without performing the division operation let's first find the zero of the divisor 1 plus x equal to 0 so x equal to minus 1 this means minus 1 is the 0 of the divisor 1 plus x now we put this value of x in the dividend polynomial so p of minus 1 will be equal to 2 times minus 1 whole square plus 3 times minus 1 minus 1 that is we have replaced x by minus 1 so we will get 2 minus 3 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 so putting 0 of divisor in the dividend polynomial gives us the remainder of minus 2 let us take another example x cube minus b x square plus 6 x minus b divided by x minus b say b is a constant so first find the 0 of the divisor x minus b when x minus b is equal to 0 x equal to b so b is the 0 of divisor x minus b so let us put this value b in the dividend x cube minus b x square plus 6 x minus b so p of b will be equal to b cube minus b into b square plus 6 into b minus b so we have replaced x by b so we get b cube 
minus b cube plus 5b so plus and minus b cube cancels each other so the remainder is plus 5b so we were easily able to find the remainder without actually performing the long division operation by just using the remainder theorem let us ver verify our remainder x cube minus bx square plus 6x minus b divided by x minus b using the long division method and see if it matches the remainder we got using the remainder theorem we're verifying here first write x cube minus bx square plus 6x minus b divided by x minus b like a division operation we start the long division first term in division dividend x cube is divided by the first term of divisor x so x cube by x equal to x square so first quotient is x square we write it above the line and we multiply the divisor x minus b by the quotient we got x square so it x minus b into x square is equal to x cube minus b x square we write it below the dividend now we subtract x cube minus x cube cancel each other minus bx square plus bx square cancel each other so the new dividend is 6x minus b now divide the first term of this remaining dividend that is 6x by the first term of the divisor x 6x by x equal to 6 we add plus 6 to the quotient and we write it above now multiply x minus b by the quotient we got that is plus 6 so we get 6x minus 6b we write it below the dividend now we subtract 6x minus 6x equal to 0 and minus b plus 6b equal to 5b as the divisor x minus b as a degree 1 but the remainder has no variable left 5b doesn't have any variable b is a constant we stop here so 5b is the remainder and x square plus 6 is the quotient and that is what we got before also 5b as the remainder so we proved remainder theorem really gives us the remainder without actually performing the long division method that's all for now bye bye